So, am I too high? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Stop doing that. Anyway, hi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my intro now. Now listen, I know I'm just in this old, like, free Ulta robe. If you know, you know. I know people see this and they're like, that looks familiar. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, I was going to get all dressed up, but I decided to just get started with my makeup because if I keep putting this off, I'm never going to do it. That kind of thing. I feel a little unhinged. Also, these, like, bags under my eyes. They are a designer. Anyway. Hi, I'm Courtney Quarantine. If you're new to my content, Hello. I am a full-time content creator, I'm also a streamer, I make a lot of TikToks, and I'm on YouTube, clearly. So, hello, hi, I'm so happy you're here, actually, I'm literally so happy you're here. So, I'm just gonna get into it today, because today is a little, dare I say, iconic. It's kind of a moment for me, okay? Let me explain why. First of all, I don't know if I have anything else to announce, so I'm just gonna get into, like, the makeup part, because I'm literally so very excited. I'm so thrilled, I'm, like, out of breath, so... But if you haven't already, I have all my socials and stuff down there, link below, Instagram, TikTok, you're already here on YouTube, um, Patreon, Twitch, anywho, yeah, it, it's there. What I'm here for today is a palette. It's a palette. I'm going to do my eyeshadow on here and kind of go in depth with what I'm doing with the eyeshadow and also just kind of like chit chat. So listen, this was kind of a moment recently. I, I don't know about you. But me, myself, personally, sometimes when I'm feeling a little, like, just need to check my brain out, I like to look at makeup looks. And I feel like for so long, there was a time, there was a space in time, where the Melt Rust palette was, like, everything. I feel like every look that I saw that people tagged the Melt Cosmetics Rust palette, I was like, oh. It took my breath away. I felt like it was so smoky and grungy and perfect and the warm tones... I don't know. I just feel like it was a really cool time. Like also kind of like on on Tumblr, like looking at Tumblr makeup, you know what I'm talking about? There was just like, there's just a certain vibe. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know kind of thing. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so Mel had a sale. Is that upside down? No. But does it, does it, can you read it upside down? Is it one of those things? I don't think so. Anyway, I this is the like unicard and the outer packaging for it. They were having a massive sale where all their palettes were half off or like even more than half off, some of them. Um, and it has kind of always been a dream of mine to have the Rust palette. I bought the Rust palette like literally, I think it might've been full price or 20% off at Sephora for someone else, like for their birthday gift. And it was a hard gift to give away. <laughs> I mean that but like they enjoy it and it is beautiful on them and they really liked it I hope still so that's great but I have always wanted this palette like for so long for so freaking long anyway so I'm gonna kind of shorten my ramble a little bit to say that I have it now I'm gonna do an eye look with it because I'm I've been craving like like kind of like rusty colors but also just like bronzy amber warm tones because i've been doing so many colorful looks like greens and blues and teals and purples and pinks and stuff like this which i love which i love makes my brain so happy but something something about a good old bronze look you know anywho so this is what it looks like let me just dude oh my god mm. look at that actually i can show you like this but i don't want to oh god look at that that is freaking stunning stunning i think it blows out this lash shade a little bit so this one actually is more of like a creamy color instead of like a white but anywho i'm gonna use this today oh it's just mm, it's so gorgeous i also got some melt brushes those were also like on a huge sale um i can't even remember why they did the sale honestly but i'm not complaining melt is just one of those companies that i feel like now that I know that I really like their stuff, it's like a nice investment, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I'm going to buy this, and I know that I'm going to like it. I guess nothing in this life is a guarantee, but it's not spiral right now. So anyway, look at these brushes. This is really cool. This I thought this was going to be much smaller. This was the, um, this is the, hello? The round detail wide. That is large. I thought that was going to be like a small detail brush. Tis not. So that's exciting. I don't I don't necessarily need to walk through each of um, the brushes, but just know I'm going to be using new melt brushes today for this look. Probably should have gotten these out before I started, but oh well. That one's shiny. 
Oh, I will use this brush. Ooh. Anyway, we can talk about some beauty things that have been going on recently in this space if y'all want. Um, I love chatting with y'all. Um, I know it's a little one-sided right now because you can't answer me live, but if you want to leave in the comments just stuff that you may want to talk about, things that we've been discussing lately on stream or something like that, feel free. I'm still learning how to do like light lighting and stuff sitting here, so um, bear with me while I still work out that. Um, my place is kind of a mess right now because um, it's usually a mess, I'm not going to lie, um, but it's especially a mess. Well, it's not really that bad, but it's especially a mess right now because um, the end of my lease is coming up and I just uh, don't want to stay here. So I've been kind of like moving stuff around and I'll be taking lots of trips to Goodwill and I just I need to do kind of like a purge situation. So we'll see. I'm going to use the P. Louise base in 01. I like this. Do I think it's like the best, most incredible eye primer? Not necessarily, but I do like it. And I do have it, so I'm gonna use it. And I just take this sponge, kind of pat it out. So many things have changed since I was like last consistently making YouTube videos that it's just wild to me. And also, I know there's just so much going on. There's a lot of stuff pretty much always going on in like the beauty community, but lately I just feel like it's been amped up. And I know even like other smaller creators have seen this as well, but like the random hate is just so unnecessary i feel like i've been getting it more recently which on the one hand it's so funny because like the more like negative stuff that comes in people are like you've made it i wish that wasn't like super common you know like i understand that with more with more of like an audience with more of like a following or whatever you're gonna get more like the ratio is a little higher for the potential of people to just be nasty also because they think they can hide in the comments which is hilarious to me because I'm like, first of all, I don't, no one else runs my account. It's literally me, myself, and I, and all my attitude. So if you think that I'm not going to see that, sometimes, you know, comments get by me. You know, I'm depressed. I don't answer all of my comments all the time. That's something that I wish that I could keep up with, but it's not really super realistic. I just find that the random, like, increase of just people being kind of nasty, I'm like, okay chill stop being so obsessed with me that's how i have to take it because otherwise i feel like i would get like upset and it doesn't really upset me you know what i mean and i know some people are like you're talking about it and that means it upsets you it's like no i'm just kind of talking about it so relax i just look you know what this is me this is me these brushes are just so quality also so i'm gonna start off i'm gonna use the mirror and the palette i think too because it is quite clear. But I'm going to start off with the shade Rubbish. Because this shade is just iconic. I'm going to use this on whatever brush this is. This is the Round Transition. I'm going to put this straight into the crease. So like here. Oh wow. Yep. That is everything I thought and hoped it would be. That is gorgeous. Before doing anything else, I'm going to take Rust. Actually, it's a little bit deeper, and I'm going to put that also just in the same spot, same brush. Ooh. Okay, that is freaking pretty. I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher. I like that. Oh, these tones. Alrighty, I mean, come on. I'm going to do that while blending out like the edges kind of as I go, just with this brush, I'd probably take one in that doesn't have any like um, anything on it. So just like a clean blending brush, which would be this one, which is their transition. Okay, so I bought round transition and transition. So like this, gorgeous. Look at how that just, just smokes out the edges. So nice. I'm gonna take this other brush, this like kind of flat one. This is the tapered shadow and I'm gonna take Mar, which is that darker shade right here. Mar and kind of stamp it on, stamp it on my lid. Oh yeah, dude. That is freaking stunning. I'm gonna be careful with it. I'm gonna go in light and kind of just build up as I go. Now, because I don't have a small detail brush from Melt yet, or just not one that I think is going to be the same shape, this is the B2 from Blend Bunny. I'm going to take the same shade, so like Rubbish, Rust, and Mar, and do Rubbish, Rust, Mar. You understand? Rubbish all the way across. 
And I'm really kind of bringing it down. I should lift my mirror a little bit, actually. God, that is so pretty. Rust halfway. Absolutely, yes. Maybe three-fourths, actually. And then mar, just like on the outer corner. Yeah, that is what I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a little bit of mar on the same brush and kind of go up here as well to kind of get the areas that are a little bit lighter. Just really make sure it's dark. That is stunning. That mar shade is really nice. Beautiful. I'm going to take this shade Redox. Ooh. I'm gonna take this, ooh, actually wait, no, I'm gonna take Ravage, Ravage, why can't I say that word? It's a little bit darker, I'm gonna take this all the way across the lid, and then Redox, which is a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna take, ooh, it's kind of like a satin. I'll take that one like that. Oh, that is so cool. <gasps> ooh, I love that. Bring it up just a little bit into the crease, and then I'm gonna take the Redox, please you it, and put it in the center. Just a little bit. I'm getting some fallout just because I really packed a lot on my finger, and that's fine because do, I'm doing my eyes first. So no big deal. But that is stunning. That is so pretty. That is exactly how I was hoping it would look. Oh, yeah. Layer your shimmers. I highly suggest laying your shimmers. Sometimes doing a darker one and a little pop one. You probably already know that, but I love doing that. It's so cute. Just gives it an extra, extra dimension. Even more. Cute. I'm gonna take a little bit of, let's see. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Redox shadow, I think. Hmm. I know I've got a big ego. I really don't know why it's such a big deal, though. I'm gonna take Ravage. Am I saying that word right? Probably not. Like down here on the outer half, kind of, just a little bit. And this is a tiny little round detail brush, mini, exquisite little mini brush. I have, I must say. And then I'm gonna take Redox and put it over the center. Oh my God, was I covering my face the whole time? I'm so sorry, but I hope you saw that. That is exactly how I was hoping the shadows would look. I'm gonna take a little bit of tarnish, this like gold one, and I'm gonna put it on the inner corner. Same brush. I'm gonna just see if it's like a nice gold. Ooh, and it is, and it is. That is really pretty, especially over rubbish, that's nice. I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. Like that, cute. <laughs> It's really sticking to my SPF, but that's fair. <laughs> Anywho, here's the shadow as is right now. And I'm gonna just copy the same thing on the other eye. Sweet Jesus. Oops, I forgot to come back here. It is much later. It is much later. Um, so, hello. I went ahead and finished up the look, did all of my other face stuff, and I think I actually wanna try one more thing before I like kind of totally wrap up. But here is the eyeshadow and everything. I will list all the products lip-wise. I also have a Melt Lip Liner on, and this is in the shade Foxy. I really like this. They actually put this like free in a package that I ordered from them a long time ago and then this lipstick this rare beauty lipstick in worthy it's like a really cute nude anyway i like that a lot so i have had this makeup on for quite a bit if it looks a little crazy it's because i've been sweating running around cooking dinner all kinds of stuff and then um working so i wanted to come back to this video because obviously duh it, it, I wanted to finish it also just to show you like the finished look these eyeshadows are really really stunning I feel like they have a really nice like smokiness to them obviously like with the theme of rust there is like the rusty kind of tones and I just think it's really pretty like especially these two shimmer shades like they really just look so nice I think on the lid it's just like a nice catch of light I don't feel like really before because it was so I mean it was light outside so like this room was really light the lighting was just kind of I don't know not as um I don't know, I feel like you can't really see the colors, but I just really like it. I kind of want to bring the shades up a little higher, if I'm honest. Um, but just to wrap this up and kind of like finish this look off, I will be using this a ton. But just for right here, right now, this is it. Also, I really like this lip liner. I forgot how much I freaking love this lip liner. It kind of gives me a little bit of cool BFF vibes, but like a little more like 
nudey. It's just a really pretty tone. Like, I really like that. Anywho, that's pretty much it. I am really excited to use any other melt stuff um, that I got. If you do want to see that, let me know. But yeah, lots of makeup stuff going on. There's always new releases with makeup. I feel like it's definitely amped up in the past couple of years. I feel like, I, you know, I've brought this up on stream and just also with peers. I feel a little overwhelmed with the amount of makeup releases. This is not something new. This is not something that I've never talked about, about even probably on here. But it gets to be a little much. I think especially from certain brands, it can feel like not exciting anymore. So if y'all want to talk about that, I'm down. But yeah, sometimes with releases and all the, the beauty things going on, it's like I sometimes miss the days where it was like, you know, only certain things, but also not really at all. Because I feel like a lot of the times when people are like, I miss when there was only like this brand and this brand and everybody used the same thing. And it's like, I didn't like the way that my makeup looked back then because I don't feel like there were products for me, for like my style, at least that I was finding. You know what I'm saying? So like Melt makes me really excited because I feel like it's kind of this like edgy vibe where like these kinds of colors, this is like basic for them. You know what I mean? And it just feels like cool and like smoky and dark and vampy and fun like all at the same time. Whereas I feel like other companies kind of like are so like bright and like shimmery and like pastel-y, you know what I mean? I don't know, I like my makeup to have like a little bit of an edge. I feel like that's why I gravitate towards like the melt and like KVD and like that kind of stuff because it feels like, you know, you can't have color and have fun and like use a lot of that stuff, but sometimes I, sometimes I need a little like oomph, you know? I think in specific, I saw a comment not too long ago and I was like, don't you miss when like everybody had the Too Faced palettes and like, you know, did our makeup like this and I'm like, I don't know if I have any full size Too Faced palettes. Those were not my vibe. Also, like, I feel like I just missed that boat. Like, I don't know where I was or what was going on, but now I just feel like we have edgier, cooler options coming up, especially even with like indie brands too. Um, that's a whole other topic of like indie brands and you know how much how many orders they can handle and blah blah blah. It, it's a lot. But anyway, I'm just stoked to see more makeup that feels more like the makeup that I really, really like crave and want to have. Anyway, I think that's enough rambling for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. If you want to check out any of my other stuff, I am usually Courtney Quarantine everywhere, except for like Twitter, it's Court Quarantine. Um, but you can find me in the little link tree link as well. It'll pull up everything. Yeah, this just felt like a cool little moment today to kind of use this palette that I feel like I've looked at online for so long, for years, and so many looks and so many freaking pins and like, just reblogs and oh my god but anyway if you have any palettes like that that you kind of like i mean idealize in a sense but like i feel like i idealize this and it's actually really good like you know but if you have any of those please do let me know in the comments i would love to talk to you about it anyway that is all i have for today thank you so much for watching i do really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video take care of yourselves hydrate be nice to you be nice to other people too okay i'll see you later Bye.